Hey everyone, good morning. It's Allison Sullivan with Stamp Crazy with Allison. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in New Westminster, BC, which is sort of a suburb of Vancouver on the West Coast. So welcome uh, to my regular Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific time live. Um, if you've never done me before, welcome. And if you're um, an old friend, welcome back. So I'm just going to wait for you guys to jump on and then I will get us going. I'll also make sure that I'm actually broadcasting where I'm supposed to be. Because sometimes technology can be a little bit picky. Okay, there I am. So that's good. Whoops. I don't know why I want to get out of it. I'm sorry, you guys. I've got something on here that I don't want. Oh, and now it's seems to have frozen. Yeah, frozen. I hope that doesn't mean that I've frozen literally on the screen. But I have on my check. So let me just make sure I haven't frozen over here. Let's see. No, I'm good. Okay, I guess it was just on my computer that I've frozen. So that's okay. I can go back and do it again while I wait for you guys to hop on here. Because it can take a bit for um Facebook to let you know that I'm on here. Okay, so that looks good. I'll put that over there so I can see you. Hi Keisha. Hi Nancy. Hi Diane. Good morning. Good morning. I was just trying to get everything kind of all sorted here. Hope you all are doing well today. Um I was sort of starting to like a weather person. It looks nice out. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day. Hope you're having a nice long weekend. Thanks for joining me. Especially since it is a long weekend. And you have other things that you could be doing, so I appreciate it. All right, what are we going to play with today? Let me show you. Hi, Mo. We're going to play with the Trucking Along Bundle, uh, which is a bundle that you can find in my online exclusive store. Now, at the end of my video, I'm going to show you, I hope, we'll see if it works. It might not work. Um, I'm going to show you where to find these products because sometimes people have a hard time. Good morning, Trisha. Nice to see you. I got you at Chuck and Barbie. <laughs> I know I love Barbie. It is cooler. That was cooler yesterday, which was nice, wasn't it, Diane? Okay, guys, so let's head over here. All right, I think I've got everybody. I think I've said good morning to everybody. So we're going to be playing with the trucking along. And as I mentioned in my little teaser, I'm just going to make sure this is okay. You know, in my little teaser, um, Barbie. All things are Barbie right? Or Oppenheimer, one or the other. Um, anyway, everyone in my family has seen Barbie. My son and his fiance, my husband went with our daughter when they, he was visiting her in Toronto. But my um, son's fiance said she would go with me because she'd like to see it again. So <clears throat> this, my husband said it was lots of fun. So I'm going to have to go and, and see it. So then I thought, gosh, everything's Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. And I loved Barbie as a kid. And my daughter had Barbies. Um, anyway, I thought, how can I make a Barbie themed card? So I'm going to use trucking along. Now, disclaimer, the punch is on back order or what we call non-orderable. I think it's coming back in October. However, the card I'm going to show you, you can easily create by just um, cutting out the shape of the truck because it's not a hard shape to, to cut out. You can do it by fussy cut. And then when the punch comes back, you can just order the punch. Okay, so let's get started with our card today. And of course, as I teased you, it's Barbie themed. So it's got to be pink, right? So I've got bubble bath. Oh, bubble bath, it's so pretty. So I've got bubble bath to start here. So I'm going to just hold this. Now let me tell you what I did here. <clears throat> I made an 11 by four and a quarter. So I cut it hot dog style versus hamburger style. If that makes sense. So we've got a bit of a longer view versus, um, you know, more of our traditional view. Okay. So then I cut off two and three quarters, which is exactly half of the front. So there we are. So I took my trimmer and I just trimmed off and then I had this extra piece but we're going to keep this. We need this piece. Okay. 
And then I went in and thought pink, 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 pink. I did think Melon Mambo, but um, I, I like the bubble bath, I think. So I wanted some designer series paper. I chose this one. It's from this package, 6 by 6 Subtles. Now we have Subtles, Regals, um, Neutrals, Brights, and then we also have a pack for each of the current in colors. So there are six, yeah, six different ones to choose from but they all have the same pattern. Let me show you. And what I love about ordering this is that you get all the colors in the collection and you never have, you know, you've always got paper in the colors. So what you get is all 10 colors or in the case of the in colors, you get the five of them. And here, so this one, for instance, like I said, is the subtle. So this would be soft sea foam. And you get four sheets, so two of each pattern. And of course, then they're double sided, right? So these are the four patterns that you're going to get. Let me just, maybe I'll use a different color. But I've got four of these. I tend to go through these packs a lot. So you've got, I don't know what you call that kind of lines. <laughs> get little hearts. You get the polka dots and you get the stripes. So you get four of each, 10 colors, 40. Okay. And I just like these, as I said, because you get so many choices and you never not, you don't ever have to worry if you've got a piece of DSP that coordinates. So I picked the bubble bath and I liked the dots. Hey, Jacqueline. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Keisha. Um, you want to see Oppenheimer, but apparently it's really long. It is, it is long. It's three hours, Keisha. I did see it. Um, it's three hours, but honestly, I was worried. I thought, oh my gosh, I, I haven't, I don't go to a lot of movies and um, in the theater. And I thought, oh my gosh, I, I don't know if I can handle three hours, but you know what? It didn't feel like three hours. It was, it, it went quite quickly. Popcorn helps. And it's a very, um, it's a very, it's a good movie. I can highly recommend it. I can recommend it. Um, it's thought provoking. Um, I didn't know a lot of what they, they talked about in the movie in terms of the personalities and what happened before and after. So I thought it was an interesting history lesson. Okay. Gosh, you guys, I've got my weird glasses on. So I'm hoping that's straight. So basically what I've done is this piece here is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So I've cut this just an eighth of an inch smaller all around. Okay, so I've got a very, I don't even think you can see that it's a very thin border on there. Okay. And then I do have a piece of basic white cut to four by five and a quarter. And I want to have that on my inside. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. I'm going to use the saying, sending you sunny thoughts. And I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to use basic gray for my words. Sending you sunny thoughts. And I'm just going to stamp that right in the middle. Like so. Okay. So that was basic gray. And then I can go ahead and glue this to the inside because that's all I'm really doing on the inside piece. Did you guys know, I showed you this, but maybe some customers didn't know. You've got this other end to your glue and sometimes I find that when it doesn't want to, near the end of its little lifetime, it doesn't want to come out this end. So I take off the other end. Not great for fine gluing, but great for big pieces like this. And you guys know I love my white glue because I can. There we go. Yeah, I um, I know Barbie, of course, is one of the biggest movies. And so is Oppenheimer. But I thought I would do a Barbie card, not an Oppenheimer card. I wouldn't even know how to do an, open, an Oppenheimer card. Um, all right. So what have we got here? Let me just grab my pieces, make sure I'm using the right pieces. Okay, I am. So remember we cut this piece off, right? It's going to actually flip over and go this way. So again, that's two and three quarters by four and a quarter because it's just the other half. And then I've cut another piece of basic white 
just an eighth of an inch smaller. Okay, so that's going to end up like that. All right. So let's stamp some stuff. I've got a scrap of basic white and I'm going to grab the two pieces that make the truck or the three pieces. So we've got the outline of the truck, we've got the inside of the truck and we've got the wheels, the tires, okay? So I debated whether I should do this in a lighter gray or darker gray. I ended up going with gray granite for the outline of the truck. But I think you could go basic gray. That would be nice too. But we're just going to do the outline in gray granite. And then I've got bubble bath for the inside. I love two-step stamping, don't you? Now, this is a great image to use your blends on or to watercolor or so many ways to add color to this. But I love the fact that I can just use the a coordinating stamp and, and um, stamp the inside. Now, with my eyesight, I'm going to have to bring this down quite a ways so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and hopefully I'm going to match it up. Um, okay. Did I tell you guys that I'm going to get cataract surgery and I'm very excited? Does anyone ever get excited about cataract surgery? I don't know, but I'm excited. I'm excited because I hope I'll be able to see better. All right, so that's my inside. Love it. And then I need tires. So here we go. I'm just going to use Memento. Again, I guess I could use the dark, um, the darker gray, the basic gray, but we're not going to. We're just going to use these tires. And so you want to match up the center here, which is the little bolt, and then we've got the tires. Okay. So again, I'm going to have to bring this quite close to me, you guys, and angle it a bit so I can see what I am doing. I'm not very confident right now that I've got this in the right place. So I'm going to hope it's in the right place. It's a little off, but that'll have to do. It's hard when I'm doing it um, just without you guys watching me, but it's harder when I, because I, I can't quite get over it to see because my camera, of course, is in the way, but you guys forgive me. You get the idea. Let's grab the punch. So here's our punch. Now it is on back order or non-orderable. However, look how this is not a hard image to cut out. Fussy cut. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. So again, I'm going to have to line this up and probably should have made one ahead of time, right? And I could have just pulled it out and gone, oh, look, I messed up, but it doesn't matter because here it is. I think that's going to be good. Okay, there we go. A little truck. Look at all these other little bits that you would use if you were building a truck. You got the wheel wells and the tires and all sorts of things that match up with the car or the truck. Okay, so here's our little Barbie truck. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside so I don't lose it. Now, I'm gonna bring in that piece that we talked about earlier. So this is the piece that's gonna go on the piece we cut off the side, right? Remember? Okay. So I am going to grab a stencil. So what I did was I took the dies, Zany Zoo dies, and there is a die that looks like this. Let me grab it. This little cloud. And I made a stencil. So I basically placed it here, cut it, placed it here, cut it, placed it here, cut it. So then I have a negative stencil and I also have, oops, the three clouds. Okay. And I want to take it and create a little, not too cloudy, but a little cloudy sky. So you take your blending brush and I'm going to take my pool party. I'm going to load up my brush and with all Every time you kind of use a blending brush, you want to take a little bit of ink off. I just want to make sure that I've got this where I want it. I think that's about right. That looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. See, I'm going to start it off here, not on my stencil, and then I'm going to go over the negative spots of my stencil. I just want to add just a little bit of color. Let's see how that looks. 
I think I think it's a little bit darker than that. Oh dear, hope we've got it in the right place. I can always turn it over. It's the beauty of uh, cardstock, right? There's always another side. <laughs> I'm just going to keep adding color until it's how I want it. And that looks great. So that's how I'm going to get my stenciled little clouds. I am going to use my other clouds, but I'll show you that. We'll add those at the end. Okay. Now, let's take, let's make a little roadway for her truck. So we've got this little roadway here. And I'm going to use one of the new ink colors, Pebble Path. Who's joined us? And yes, an Oppenheimer card would be tricky and rather depressing, Keisha, wouldn't it? Hi, Ellie. Um, oh, thank you for answering, Jan. Yeah, BC Day tomorrow. Well, and it's a civic holiday, um, Trisha, because it's, it's um, different. Like, I don't know what Ontario people call it. They get tomorrow off, too. So I don't know if it's just called Ontario Day. I don't know. Civic holiday is basically what we call it. Okay. So what I've done is I'm inking this up. Okay. And I'm going to just stamp it. And then I'm going to just stamp it again without re-inking. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I kind of created the illusion of a dirt road. There we go. So just one a little, there we go. Okay. And a little lighter. There we go. That looks, that looks like asphalt to me. Okay. What have I missed? I said hi to Ellie. Um, uh, oh, thanks, Valerie. Yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, I know everyone thinks I'm weird. Like you're happy about surgery? Uh, yeah, because I can't see. <laughs> Thanks, Trisha. We are. Hi, Wanda. Good afternoon. How are you? Okay. We need to add some other elements here. So we have got these trees. Again, this is another two-step. We've got the tree and then we've got the actual leaves. Okay. So we're going to stamp the tree. Here we are. Here's a tree. We're gonna use crumb cake for that. Oh, that was almost lost my little tree there. So I'm gonna put a tree here and a tree over here. Okay. And then here's another tricky one for my eyes. Cause you guys know that I had a retinal detachment that never really got any better. So it's hard for me to see. And then now that my other eye, the cataract, they kept looking for the cataract in my um, in my uh, bad eye, I call it. But apparently, it's really my good eye that's worse than my, my bad eye. So there you go. So they're going to do that one first. Again, I have to pull this down closer to me, guys. I'm sorry. And I was having trouble yesterday lining this up. Ooh, so I hope. Ooh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Okay, that one looks pretty good. Oh, that's even better. Wow. Woohoo. I didn't like the trunk of the tree just being like that. So I took a crumb cake stamp and blend and just the light one. And I'm just going to color in my trunk. There we go. Okay. All right. It's almost ready for Barbie. Next up, what are we going to do next? Well, it's Barbie. She needs something in her truck. So I thought it would be nice. I'm going to just take this word, uh, farm fresh, and I'm going to take the basic gray and I'm going to stamp it on the door of her truck. So farm fresh because so I think Barbie would be delivering or maybe be a florist or something she can be anything she wants but I'm just saying in this case she's a florist so I'm going to put this down and then I'm going to grab this one which is 
you know, look at presents. Um, she's got a surfboard and a beach ball and, you know, that would work too. Or she could be delivering Christmas trees. I just picked the flower one. Okay. So I need the flower. I think I stamped the flowers. Just going to see. What did I stamp the flowers in? Dark gray or light gray? Hard to see. I think it might be light. I'm going to grab the gray granite. Mm, I don't know what I originally stamped it in, but I'm going with basic gray. I'm going dark. All right. So I'm going to ink that up. Now, what I did was I just I just lined this up where this was going to be on the road. And then, okay, that's where my flowers have to be. And then I just went like that. Okay. So that's how I lined it up, where I was going to have my flowers. Then I'm going to just color it with some Stampin' Blends. I just picked some colors, you guys. I picked Dark Bubble Bath, and I picked Dark Freesia, and Light Freesia, and Granny Apple, Light Granny Apple. So we can color those in. And these are such small areas. You're not going to be worried about, you know, um, blending you're just getting the color and the tiny little tiny little things for you to color okay then i've got dark here uh i think i'll color the centers of these big flowers dark maybe add some dark here just dotted it on there and then bubble bath Bubble bath. These look like little Gerbera daisies. Okay. And then a light freesia. Okay. Dot, 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 dot. Light, light, light. Dot, dot, dot. There we go. All right. Now let's glue this onto here. And then we can start adding the other elements. It's so weird for me to have to use this end of this thing. I like that it's got this little spreader though, but I do worry that I've got way too much ink, ink glue to the edge there. That's too much. Although it does dry clear. Gosh, that's a lot of glue. Whew. And I've got it on my fingers now because I'm so used to using the um, fine end very tiny little border here just an eighth of an inch okay all right that looks good all right let's add some of those clouds remember we had those so i've just got some blue still on my blending brush here and i'm just oops gonna go around and just add a little blue to them could use a job or two but we might as well use this since we've already got the blue on it. So I'm just wanting to add a titch of blue. What's everyone saying? Oh, not much. Oh, thanks, Diane. Yeah, it was, um, yes, earning the trip. Yeah. I wish I could win it. We actually have to earn it. <laughs> um, but thank you so much. It's with all of your support, you guys, that I'm able to earn it at all. Um, just from friends like you encouraging me and purchasing from me or joining my team, I really appreciate all your support. So yeah, you earn it, but then it's like, when can I go? When can I go? And it's not till next year. Not going till next year. I think it's April this time. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully you can see, I'm gonna hold it up. So you can see it against the white, you might see that it's um, a little bit, whoops, there we are, that would help. Okay, now let's grab, I'm going to use my little mini glue dots. Boy, my fingers have got glue all over them because I'm not used to using the, that thick end. Ugh. So I'm just going to put these on the back of my clouds. Okay. Oop. 
my mini glue dots, or glue dots, my mini Stampin' Dimensionals, you guys, I think I've had them so long, I have the hardest time getting the backs off of them. I don't know. It's just me, or they're old, or I don't know. They've been around a long time, I gotta say. I don't want it to be too cloudy for Barbie. There we go. So just some clouds in the sky. And then let's glue. No, let's not. Let's pop up our truck. So many Barbie themed projects out right now. So fun. Then we're just going to line this up so that our truck is on the ground and our flowers are in the back. There we go. Is that cute? So cute. All right, next we're going to be gluing this on, but I need some ribbon. So my original card, I did not use this ribbon, but I thought this would be nice. This is our black and white gingham. And what's the width of this quarter inch? Quarter inch. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap this around and over there. Um, I'm wondering if I need it around twice. Hmm. Let me see. The way to figure it out is to actually wrap it around and see if you like it one layer or two. Let's see here. I think I like it two. I think I'd like it a little more substantial. There we go. Okay. Oh, this will be tricky with my gluey fingers. I like the black and white because I thought it made the pink pop. And it also reminds me of French design. I love French themed cards with the pink and the black and the white. Love it. Okay, that looks pretty good. In with my scissors. Okay, there we go. And then this guy is just going to be tucked under there. So we always, we want to make sure that we're not putting too much glue on, right? Because boy, would that ever be sad if you couldn't open your card. So I'm just going to put a little line on the back so I don't go over that with my glue. Okay. Ooh, shouldn't be using this end. Nope, not using that end. I'm going to try and see if I can get my skinny end of my other tube to work. Oh, there we go. Back to normal. Yay, this is much better for me. That other one was just way too, too much glue. Okay. Then, <clears throat> you're just going to sort of tuck that under, move that over, titch. Hopefully, Hopefully I've got it lined yeah, up. There we go. Just line it up. Make sure it's straight on there. That looks good. Clear all this mess out. And you can still move this over because it's not, it's the, the element is not on top of your ribbon. So you can still play with your ribbon. Move it up right along like so. You can even bring it down a bit if you want. No, Barbie. Barbie truck. Oh, hi, Janet. Oh, I've got a surprise for you, Janet. Just you wait. Okay, so there is our Barbie themed card. Okay. Again, I don't know the name of this fold. My sister will know. Ellie, what is the name of this fold? Or Mo, one of them. They all know the names. I don't, I don't retain stuff like that. Okay, so that's my one that we did today. Here's the one I did yesterday. And instead of using the black and white, I used... This is the Lemon Lime Twist from the Zoo Crew. Um, there's a Ribbon Duo Pack. So I'm not sure which one do you like better. Do you like the, oops, the green or the black? I thought the black might pop a little bit. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Jenny. Oh, you popped on too. Look at you guys. You popped on when I wasn't looking. Okay, so this is my card for Janet. Okay. Oh, hi, Judy. Here's my Janet card. Purple Janet. Look, I made her a purple one. 
Barbie's more pink, but that's okay. Sometimes maybe this would be Midge. Maybe Midge is purple. I don't know. So this is done in Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. So same idea. So I'm not sure. What do we like? Purple, pink, both. I like both. Actually, I like both. Okay. You like the black ribbon? Yeah, me too. Oh, thanks, Judy. You're so sweet, you guys. Thank you. Like I said, Judy, you joined late, but, you know, I don't do it by myself. That's for sure. Okay. So just a reminder, remember when you make an order from me during the month of August, um, you will earn a PDF video class tutorial. There's 12 tutorials, 12 cards. We're using Bright and Beautiful. And um, I do this with um, other demonstrators from around the world. So the UK, Australia, United States. Um, so it's free when you make a purchase. Or if you would prefer not to make a purchase, that's okay. You can visit my tutorial store and you can purchase this for $19.50. And each one, each card comes with a video tutorial. So you can see us make the card, plus all the measurements and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So just wanted to remind you about that. Okay, let me come over here. Say hi. Okay, there we go. Everyone likes the black. Yeah, I like the black too. I'm glad I kind of changed that at the last minute. Uh, love the purple one. Yep. Yep. I know. Love the purple. Oh, the purple's so cute. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, you guys, is I will see you all back here. Oh, my gosh, Wednesday. Like time go every time I say Wednesday I think well, that's a long time away but it really isn't so hopefully you can join me back here on Wednesday at 3 p.m pacific time uh, have a great rest of the long weekend now for those of you who don't know how to find where the trucking along bundle is um, stay here on our video and I'm going to show you I hope the the streaming program I use doesn't always cooperate so it may or may not work. I'm hoping it does. So stick with me. You like the purple one best, Mom? Okay. Is it just stands out a little bit more, I guess, right? Yeah. And actually on this one, I could have used... I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted, aren't I? I didn't have to use the purple ribbon. I guess I could use the black ribbon on that too. And that would have been nice. Because it would have picked up the black. Right? Anyway, love the little truck. Love the Barbie. Okay, so stick with me um, if you would like me to show you where on my store you can find the trucking long bundle. So I'm going to keep our fingers crossed that this work. It may not work because sometimes it doesn't want to work. Okay, it's just, um, it's just one of these weird things. So hopefully this is showing. I'm, I can actually see if it's going to show in a minute because it's going to, oh my gosh, it worked. I jinxed myself, didn't I? So you're going to go to my store, shopcrazywithallison.com, and you're going to go here where it says menu, and then you're going to click shop products, and look at all these things you can choose. You can filter out by all sorts of things, uh, paper and kits and all sorts of things, but here, online exclusives, we're going to come down here. Ooh, I've got a class with this, you guys. If you want to come to a class with One Horse Open Sleigh, it's on August the 26th. Saturday, August the 26th. I have two kits left if anybody wants to join us. So then you can go through here and look at all the products you can get. Now, what is online exclusive? It is product that is not in any of the publications, okay? <clears throat> so this is where you'll find our kits and other things. Look at this ribbon. Have you noticed this new ribbon that just came out? Not pretty red with gold dots. This is a really beautiful. Um, let me just click on this. Isn't this beautiful? So very merry photopolymer stamp set. It's like stained glass. Isn't that pretty? Love that. Okay, so you can find all the um, online exclusives here. Listen, if you guys have not picked up the scoring blades multi pack, I can see it's currently unavailable, but it will come back. I bought these thinking, you know, my my scoring blade is kind of dull or felt like it was. So I, I bought this. I put it in and, oh my gosh, it was like, <laughs> I was pressing really hard because I had to before and I almost cut my paper. So obviously it was really dull. 
Okay, see where it says here, currently unavailable? It just means that it's going to be back. So you can't purchase the, um, you cannot purchase this as a bundle because the punch is unavailable, but the stamp set still is. So go ahead and pick up the stamp set and you can make the card you made today because this is so easy to cut out. And then when this comes back in stock, then you can, um, you can buy that. So, oh, this will be tricky. Oh, I got back. I can't believe you guys. I got back. I did it. Oh my gosh. I can't stand it. But I actually got it to work. <laughs> Yay! Because half the time it doesn't. So that was good. So that's where you find online exclusives. Okay. And you'll find me back here on Wednesday at 3 p.m. And if you're interested in joining my One Horse Open Sleigh class, you'll see the links in this video for my classes. I'd love to join you. Have you joined me? All right, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your long weekend, wherever you are. I hope the weather is nice and you get out and enjoy uh, the outdoors. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Bye for now.